Welcome back to Song Surveys on Sofas with Superheroes and Emily. So this song I've been currently obsessed with for the past like couple weeks and normally I don't love female vocalists but this one just blew me away and I am just again it's this song for me is more about the actual words and the singer um, Julian Baker definitely you can tell that she deliberately put certain words and that is fantastic which I like totally appreciate in any song whether it's female vocalist or male vocalist or whatever vocalist um, but I definitely appreciate the fact that her words were clearly chosen carefully in the song. So that being said I should also tell you that when I first started listening to the song of course you don't know all the lyrics at first so you start to learn them well I did not know certain lyrics and on my way home driving in the car at night don't tell my mom she might be mad I was using my phone I decided to look them up and in that moment after I looked them up and figured out what they were and listened to the song once through and then on the second turnaround yes I was listening to the song on repeat because I was so obsessed with it I really got very emotional like almost to a point of tears like I couldn't believe how brilliant this song was and I had been missing it all this time thinking about all the times I'd listened to it and had no idea just how fantastic the lyrics really were and this song is a lyric song it's all about how wonderful the lyrics are so anyway the song is something by Julian Baker and um, it opens up with about 15 seconds of just like a slow guitar very basic and the first lyrics are I know you're sleeping by now but I'm still up walking around so first of all I love that image right this person is clearly just totally happy with the decision that he or she made and there is no having to think twice about it for them right they're sleeping they're totally happy and they're totally fine with it Kind of like at the end of that Momji song, right? I'm happy sleeping alone now, right? So this person is clearly over whatever they had. But she's still up walking around, right? She still cannot sleep. Um, the next two lyrics are about her um, skull bending backwards, like a labyrinth, right? So she's clearly thinking like too much about what's going on. So I like that as well. So the next one is I knew I was wasting my time. So the following lyric is, keep myself awake at night because whenever I close my eyes, okay, so she sees something and I'll get into that in a second, but let's go back to the whole I knew I was wasting my time. The first time you hear it, you're like, okay, she's clearly wasting her time trying to have fallen asleep. That's what I take from it the first time I hear it. But then when you listen to it through, I mean, it could mean so many things, right? Is she wasting, was she wasting her time before this all happened? Did she know that she was wasting her time before that? Is she wasting her time trying to like follow up with what happened? Or is she genuinely just wasting her time trying to fall asleep? Because she knew that every time she closes her eyes, she sees a specific image. So then the next part comes in. And this was one of the lines I did not know until I looked up the lyrics. I knew it was chasing something, but I wasn't exactly sure. So the line is, because I never, because whenever I close my eyes, I'm chasing your taillights. In the dark, in the dark, in the dark. Again, right now you're listening to this going, what is significant about taillights? Okay, so he's driven away, got it. But just wait, right? It gets so good. So the first time you listen to it, you're like, okay, chasing taillights. If you can even understand that lyric, right? Because I didn't. So you're like, okay, chasing taillights. That's like a significant image, right? He's driving away and she's clearly chasing him through the dark. But just wait, it gets so good. So then the next line, right? Which I like to think this whole first stanza is her in the present. And then this whole next one is her in the past, right? So she's describing how she is now. And then she's kind of thinking about what had happened that day and why she was at this current point now. I know you left hours ago. I still haven't moved yet. Okay, so he's gone and she's just so broken up about it that she hasn't been able to do anything. So she's just still in her current situation, which again, we don't really know where that is yet, but wait, it gets so good. So then the next one is, I knew you were gone months ago. Okay, so that's awesome too, right? So clearly she knew this wasn't working and she didn't care or she wanted to try and make it work. 
but she knew he was gone months ago. So even though he had left hours ago, he was gone months ago. Again, this is where those lyrics really come in, right? Left hours ago, gone months ago. So I do really appreciate her detail to the actual word she chose to sing. So the next one is, but I can't think of anyone else. And this will come back again, which is great. But, um, but yeah, so she can't think of anyone else. He's the only one that's on her mind or she's the only one that's on her mind. I should have said something, something, something. So she does a lot of repetition and I love repetition when it's a good solid amount, right? Too much is annoying, but she does a fantastic job. And again, she repeats certain words over and over again. This is why the lyrics are so important in the song. I should have said something, 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 but I couldn't find something to say. So I just said nothing, nothing, nothing sat and watched you drive away. So again, that whole repetition, right? She first starts with something and then instead of repeating something again, she changes the lyric to say nothing, 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 which is awesome because this will come back again. She does repeat, but the next time she repeats is still something different, which again is just fantastic. So then the next one is, and I just let the parking lot swallow me up. I love it. So now you know the context. She's clearly, they had a meeting in a parking lot somewhere, maybe to exchange items or something, and he's gone and she hasn't moved for hours. He left hours ago and she is in this parking lot and she's letting it swallow her up, right? Choking your tires and kicking up dust. So clearly he made a speedy getaway and she says, asking aloud why you're leaving, but the pavement won't answer me. So he's gone and she's now like, why are you leaving, right? She's too late, she's, she's missed her opportunity and it's gone. The, his tires have been choked by the dust. He's gone so quickly, he wants to make such a quick exit that she doesn't even have time to ask, why are you leaving me? And then all she has left to answer her is just the pavement, which it obviously does not. So then after that, um, she repeats, and I just let the silence swallow me up, right? So now we're, So now she's just sitting in the car being silent the ring in my ear tastes like blood, asking aloud why you're leaving, but the pavement won't answer me. So this again, this is like a significant line for her because she uses her words deliberately and also the repetition. So she's repeating that line, which is great because again, that's a fantastic image. She's sitting in this car, she's been there for hours and she's just, why are you leaving me? And not getting an answer. When he's already gone, right? The, the moment is over, but she's still just sitting there in this shock, in this sadness, in this, total heartbreak. I love it. Which I know sounds terrible, but not in that way. Anyway, um, so then we go back to, I guess, the chorus, which is changed, but has that same repetition. And I know I meant nothing, nothing to you, but I thought I meant something, something, something. And again, this is where her word choice really comes in. I know that I meant nothing, but I thought that I meant something. So just the difference between no and thought is fantastic. I totally love that difference between no and thought, right? She knows that she meant nothing, but she thought that maybe she meant something. So that is great use of different words and I love it. And then again, you have the repetition, nothing, nothing, something, something, something. So the next part is, but I just said nothing, said nothing, said nothing, sat and watched you drive away. So. Again, great way to change the chorus while keeping it similar, right? There's that repetition. Obviously the same melody comes in and you're listening to that, so that's awesome. So then the last part is um, probably, again, definitely have to pay attention to the words. And this is why this song is so fantastic and why I can't get it out of my head and why I just wanna keep listening to it. So it says, watched, you said nothing, said nothing, said nothing. I can't think of anyone else. She repeats this. Well, so let me, sorry. She, I can't think of anyone, anyone else, right? She repeats this three times. I can't think of anyone, anyone else. I can't think of anyone, anyone else. I can't think of anyone, anyone else. Then the music kind of dies down and you have just this like one simple notes in the music, right? So you just have these like few simple notes. And then the last line is, I won't think of anyone else. So you've eliminated the repetition and instead of can't, now it's won't, right? So the whole time you're like, oh my gosh, this girl's so sad. And like, it's all like that she can think about. And then you're like, wait a minute, I won't think of anyone else. She's making this her choice, right? She is like living in this and I just love it, right? It totally blows you away. You're thinking like, this one direction, she can't, she can't, she can't. And then she says, I won't. And she doesn't repeat, which I loved. So anyway, 
love the song. Um, I know I didn't actually play any of the song, but you should definitely check it out. I did check out her other songs uh, a couple days ago and very similar style. So unlike Mom Jeans, this is definitely a more consistent type of song that Julian Baker would sing. And again, like, I don't love female singers, so the rest of her stuff was okay. But this song just really caught me off guard. The repetition, the choice of words, no versus thought, can't versus won't. I mean, it just really blew me away. And the fact that once you listen to it once and you kind of get what's going on and then now it totally makes sense. The taillights, oh my God, that line makes it so much more significant now. She's up because she was like dumped in this parking lot and she is chasing his taillights. She sat there for hours and couldn't say anything. And of course, like, oh, it just, it blows my mind at how good the second listen it was for this song. Like if once you understand the lyrics and you really know what's going on, it, I mean, it just blew me away and continues to blow me away. Every time I listen to it, I'm just have this now, this image in my head of us, the whole story. She really tells the whole story, but she tells it in these like parts and you're just like, wait a minute, this all is starting to make sense. So I love how it came together. Love the song. Definitely give it a listen. It is fantastic. So yeah. That's Something by Julian Baker. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, please feel free to like and comment and please leave suggestions. I'll listen to songs and I will um, totally give my thoughts. So yeah, I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. Bye.